What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with another episode of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by Hard Rocker Builder, and he said two player action is needed again in GTA. I missed that about San Andreas. Well, I totally agree with him, and it also got 10 thumbs up, so that is going to be the topic for today's video. So anybody who played San Andreas knows that it was a lot of fun to play with two people. You could drive around together, do drive-by shootings, and all sorts of fun stuff, and it was really a good time. However, now we're wondering, will we see that in GTA 5? I think it would be really neat given the whole new environment and everything, but here's the bad news. Unfortunately, Dan Hauser actually already answered this question about a month ago around the time of the Game Informer article, and he said it would be impossible to do that and keep the level of precision we've got in this. You could make a great co-op game, but we felt that we were doing other bits of our multiplayer that will fulfill those desires in ways we think are very fun. So that's pretty much the head of Rockstar confirming that co-op will not be in the game. However, I think that it's still fun to explore the, uh, the possibilities and the what-ifs. What if it was in the game? How would it be done? So the first thing I want to touch on is split-screen multiplayer. A lot of people were wondering around the first trailer, will we see split-screen multiplayer in GTA V? Uh, from a hardware standpoint, that would have been completely impossible. Uh, Rockstar has already told us that GTA V is a game that is pushing the consoles to their very limit. This generation of consoles simply cannot handle two players at once. I mean, you need to consider, when you double the number of players, you're also doubling the workload on the console. You're doubling the environment that it has to load, the AI, the physics engine. It's simply not possible for this generation of consoles. Maybe next generation we'll see some super powerful consoles that are able to do this, but for now, it just is not possible. So, uh, then, I guess the only real co-op that will be in GTA V is the online co-op. And of course, that will not be missions, but just cooperating with everybody online. Killing people, killing each other, blowing stuff up, racing, exploring together, doing all that stuff. And, uh, really, that's part of, uh, or one of my favorite parts of Grand Theft Auto, when you really... Look at the series as a whole. Um, I think that the online that it introduced in GTA 4 was really just a turning point for the series and is really now one of my most favorite aspects of the game. So uh, guys, I think that pretty much does it for this topic. There wasn't too much to say because unfortunately Dan Hauser, I guess, denied our hopes. But um, since it was a top rated comment, I thought it was appropriate to make a video on it. I hope you guys don't dislike this too much and say, well, this is a dumb topic. You shouldn't have done it if you already said it wasn't true. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just thought that, uh, it was a good one to cover. And instead of ending this video right here, I would like to just kind of talk over the rest of this gameplay because, in my opinion, this is one of the most eventful gameplays I've ever captured. Or maybe not eventful, but just full of action and just crazy and entertaining. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I started out with a shooting spree on the dock, and I kind of moved my way up just mowing down the police with my fully automatic rifle, I guess. And, um, I'm not exactly sure what kind that is. I'm no gun aficionado. But, um, then watch this. This part is just, oh, oh my goodness. I almost get oh, pummeled by, like, a flaming cop. And then here I catch on fire myself. And I actually thought that was going to be the end because I was so close to the fire. But luckily, I'm able to walk off of the flaming body and start uh, putting some bullets into this helicopter. I thought it was going down, but somehow it regains its composure and starts uh, lighting me up again. And then, to my delight, I find that I have another copper, or another copper, another chopper full of coppers shooting at me. So, uh, I want to take them out here, and you can see their little sad, pathetic bodies falling to the ground below. And still, an onslaught of police. We are nearing the end, nearing the very end. I'm going into my last stand here, and <laughs> that is it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, because uh, for me it was pretty entertaining to watch back, even though I played it myself. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, tell me what you think in the comments below, and I will see you next time.